my name is India, and if you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so excited because today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I dress as a voluptuous, <laughs> sorry mom, large-chested woman, okay? We're gonna be going over tips, tricks, hacks, you name it. I'm gonna be showing examples for everything. So I will be changing, not on camera, don't panic mom. Uh, and you can see like exactly what I'm talking about with the outfits that I'll be showing you here today. If you are excited about this video, please give it a thumbs up. I've been wanting to make this video for a long time, so I'm really, really excited. And if you are new, please be sure to subscribe. And big, big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring a small portion of today's video, but we'll get to that later. All right. Let's do it. First, I wanna share a little bit about my personal body type. <laughs> so I am a 34 triple D or a 32 G. Those are my sister sizes. <laughs> so I'm definitely a smaller framed woman. I wear a size zero to two, sometimes a four, depending on the outfit, because I do need to have it fit my chest. If I get a four, then I will definitely have to get it altered. And I know you're like, oh no, being skinny with big boobs, the horror. <laughs> but it honestly really is a struggle. Those of you who know, I know you get it. And that's what we're gonna be going over here today. The very first thing that is of the utmost important for finding clothes for yourself is what's under your clothes. Of course, that being your bra. So I won't go too far into depth on this because I did discuss this in a video recently. I will link that in the description box down below. We talked about all the bra brands I love, all that jazz. We won't get into that today, but I will share quickly with you my personal favorite bra at the moment, which is from the brand Wacol. It is a 34 triple D. It has very thick straps, which is great for support, and it has a really thick band in the back that doesn't like slide and ride up my back. It stays right where it's supposed to be and gives me the utmost support. I couldn't love it more. And the first thing that I wanna speak to with finding a bra that fits you perfectly is that you don't want for your breasts to be kind of spilling out of your bra. I used to have that problem all the time. <laughs> The first time I walked into Bloomingdale's to get fitted for this bra, I walked in and I'm like, I need help finding a bra. And she goes, you do. And I was like, what do you mean? How do you know? She goes, your breasts are spilling out of your bra. We need to find you a bra immediately. And I was like, oh gosh, this is so embarrassing. Please help me. Uh, so yeah, finding a bra that comes into where your breasts aren't gonna spill out, because I will show you how it looks in a shirt if you are wearing the wrong size bra, which I currently am, so that you can see. Okay, I just changed shirts so that hopefully you can see this a little bit better. But what I'm trying to show you is that my boobs will stick out past the bra. So the bra is right here, and this is a 32 double D, um, so it's just a a little bit too small for me and it then makes my shirt like then my boobs like spill out of the bra so the bra is here but then my boobs are here you see what I'm talking about so now I'm gonna put on this bra so that you can see the difference okay so this bra is two cup sizes larger and it's actually the right size for me so as you can see the bra comes into here and there is no, none of my chest is spilling out of my bra or anything like that. It's just a smooth finish. And I actually feel as though finding a bra that fits you properly can give a minimizing effect to your chest area. Now many of you know that I've struggled with my chest size for a very, very long time. When I was younger, I definitely tried to minimize my chest as much as humanly possible, wearing two sports bras, whatever I could do to smush these puppies together, uh, I would do it. As I've gotten older, I've gotten so confident in my skin and I just feel like, okay, like this is the way God made me and I am beautifully and fearfully made and it is what it is. I do personally try to dress on the modest side. As I've mentioned in many videos prior, modesty is very personal. Someone might think something is modest, someone might think something else isn't modest, and vice versa. At the end of the day, it is totally your decision and you need to just dress what makes you feel confident and fabulous and beautiful, and that's what I do. So, okay. Next tag. Next, I'd like to speak about tank tops. Long, long gone are the days of me wearing thin tank tops like this. I actually had this tank top in a pile to give to Goodwill recently, but then I realized I should save it for this video. You're welcome. Thinner strap tank tops just do larger chested women so many injustices. If you are a larger chested woman, you are probably wearing a bra strap that is of a thicker material so that you have that substantial amount of support that we need. Um, and thin straps, they don't cut it. They never cover the bra strap, they never work. And in my personal opinion, the thinner strap just doesn't look substantial enough 
for a larger chest and almost makes your chest area look significantly larger because this area is so small. Whereas if you were to wear a tank that has thicker straps, it's gonna kind of streamline things and allow you to wear a larger strapped bra. Let me show you. Here is a thicker strapped option. So as you can see, the bra straps are closed. I feel like comparatively, it just kind of streamlines, thins things, and looks like these straps can support your chest. Now I'd like to speak to those of you who are more disproportionate. There is no proper proportions. Everybody is beautiful and fabulous, and your body is made just the way it's supposed to be made. But sometimes, I'm human too, and I feel as though I'm a little bit more top heavy and I don't have the hips to match. And the best way that I've personally found to be more proportionate is to wear, of course, black on top, um, no prints, no colors, nothing to draw the eye. If you wear a lot of small prints, it's gonna make that area will really be the focus. Um, wearing bright colors, that's gonna be the focus. So wear like a plain black top, but then maybe wear a white skirt. Or if you're working out, wear a black like sports bra, black tank, and then like a brighter colored bottom. While I absolutely adore the sports bra, the hot pink color with the patterns of the polka dots contrasted to the plain gray bottoms definitely makes my top section the focus and kind of that's where your eye draws and then the bottom half looks a little bit more smaller and kind of like pushed to the side. Whereas if you go to wear um, something very, very simple and clean and streamlined on top and then something more loud color-wise or pattern-wise on the bottom, it will definitely help to even things out if that is something that you are trying to do. Now let's take a little commercial break to hear from our sponsor. As you know, I love working with Skillshare. This is my second time working with them and I'm just so excited about it because I genuinely love and stand behind their platform. It is a really unique experience. It's an online community where millions of people come together to learn and explore and create. Skillshare really offers such a great variety in classes. Last month, I really kind of dove into photography classes. The Brandon Waffle has a class on there and it was not only interesting and fun to watch but also educational for myself. So recently, they added a new class that's so fun and it's all about interior design. It is so, so fun. I'm loving it. I am currently working on doing my office. Things are going a little bit slower than I hoped with delays due to COVID-19, but I am working on bringing creativity to my interior design. Thanks, Emily. <laughs> So as I mentioned previously, they have so many different genres and the educators, the teachers are really so so reputable in their field, uh, which is really important to me personally. So they have classes in photography, like I spoke about, interior design, marketing, entrepreneurship, freelancing, uh, creative writing, just to name a few and so many more. And yearly memberships are less than $10 a month. Now you know I got you, girl. The first 1,000 people, we got it up to 1,000 this time, the first 1,000 people who click the link in my description box will get a free two month subscription to Skillshare. So be sure to click the link in the description box down below to get two months free of a Skillshare premium membership. All right, let's get back to the video. Next, I'd like to speak about the classic tent effect. That's right, my friends, the tent effect. I've spoken about this on my channel before. So if you are a larger chested woman, let me bring it down in here. So this is me in a flowy shirt. This is a size small. It does fit my chest, but it also creates this tent-like effect. Because my chest sticks out and it's a flowy material, it's then just going to flow down, making me look larger than I am and just kind of continuing my shape down from my chest. Whereas in reality, my stomach is back here. See the problem? Instead, I would highly recommend a different shape for you. I often look for shirts that are of the peplum style, so it's kind of fitted on the chest area, but then right here, the seam changes and then it kind of flares out to a more A-line look. So it shows off your curves nicely, shows your waist, and then just kind of cascades out from there. This shirt in particular I love because of the neckline. It's slightly heart-shaped, but more so straight across, which just makes me feel a little bit more comfortable and confident. And I have found in particular that anthropology has a lot of these shapes that are very peplum-y, um, a lot of like A-lines, a lot of shift dresses, and um, that I personally find to be very flattering on a more curvy, 
body type. Next, let's talk about dresses. Now, this is a beautiful dress that I love so, so very much, but it is very cleavagey. Um, this is from Ralph Lauren. It's in a size two. It's very figure flattering with like the the way that it drapes, the way that it ruches, but it's just a little too much up here for me personally. And that's just me personally. You wear whatever you feel comfortable with, but let me show you my solution for this. This is a little lacy bandeau, and it is my biggest trick when it comes to wearing uh, shirts or dresses that there's a little bit more cleavage than I want, but I don't want to like wear a tank underneath it because I need it to still be fancy. Automatically throw this on. Let me show you. And this is how the dress looks with the bandeau. It is such a great solution because it doesn't add any width to your midsection that you don't want to look larger, um, but you just want a little bit of coverage right here. You can make these as high up or as low down as you want to get to a comfortable level that, that you feel comfortable and confident in. Next, I'd like to talk to you about your neckline and how it can change the appearance of your breasts and how high they are and how large they are. So it's all perception. Your chest isn't really perkier or lower or larger or smaller. It's just all from perception. So I do love a good turtleneck, I have to say, and nobody's gonna tell me otherwise, but the higher up your neckline is, the lower down your chest will look, okay? It's just a perception thing. Whereas if the neckline was a little bit lower, my chest would look like it starts a little bit higher up. But as soon as you bring this up, my breasts look like they have dropped down a couple inches. It is definitely all in perception, but the higher the neckline, the lower the breasts appear to the eye. So I am in no way, shape, or form telling you that you can or cannot wear turtlenecks. I love mine and I will wear mine all the time. However, if your breasts aren't as high or perfect, as they once were maybe, if they're not as high as you'd like them to be, if you'd like to give them the illusion of a lift, wearing a turtleneck is going to give you the opposite effect. So you would want to wear maybe a v-neck so that your breasts don't look like they start lower. I hope that that makes sense. Trust me on this one. <laughs> I just wanna wrap this video up by saying that your body type is so, so beautiful and powerful and strong and it takes you places and you were made exactly how you were supposed to be made. There was no accident. So whether you are an A cup or an H cup, you truly are beautiful and I assure you, if you are feeling insecure and whatever you have, someone else wishes they had what you have. If you're an A cup, maybe you want an H cup. If you're an H cup, maybe you wish you were an A cup. Everybody wants what they don't have, but at the end of the day, I think true happiness and peace comes from being happy with where you're at and um, just being confident in your skin. So I truly hope that this video was helpful. I could honestly talk about this topic forever. I have so many more tips and tricks and hacks, but I don't want for this video to be 20 minutes long. I feel like my videos have been so long lately and I'm like, <gasps> I don't want to bore them, so yeah. Uh, biggest of thank yous to Skillshare for partnering with me on today's video and keeping your girl entertained in quarantine. All right, I love you guys, and until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye.